My most controversial Destiny 2 opinion is that double primary is more enjoyable than primary secondary that we've had for most of Destiny 2. In fact, I wouldn't mind going all the way back to the start of Destiny 2 to vanilla D2 having enforced double primary. In PvP only though, I would not like to go back to doing it in PvE. I don't think it's going to come back. But, I would like to see, I'd like to see it back. Now for the elephant in the room. Why would I even want this back? Well, let me tell you why. I enjoy playing Dog Primary, even now. I like having multiple range options available at all times. I'll give you an example first to help you understand what I mean by this. <coughs> I like to play Sidearms a lot. Sidearm Sniper, probably my favourite combo in the game. Until I run out of sniper shots, that is. Then, I become relegated to really only very close range. And I basically can't do a lot until I get my special again. On maps like Javelin, this is fine. This is easily viable. But uh, on maps like Eternity, it's, uh, it's just not an option really. That's why I like having a high impact pulse or a scout or even a long range auto rifle just so that I can uh, have a majority of ranges available. Even if I'm not in the ideal range, it's a lot easier to get to either of those ranges. Same thing but to a lesser extent if I'm running at a, if I'm running a scout rifle with a shotgun. I'm kind of fucked at really close ranges without ammo. The reason I say to a lesser extent is that it's a lot easier to stay in the long sight lines and uh, to create distance than it is to close the distance. And even if the distance is too close for a scout rifle, it's a lot easier to use abilities at that uh, closer range than uh, at a long range, but that's not the point. Another reason, and I think a better reason than just I like it, is that it's far more competitive. I don't really think you can argue that, but I know people will, so whatever. I know that removing all the one-shot, unreactable, insta-melt bullshit will make for a more competitive experience. Taking away 90% of the one-shots and having an even bigger focus on gun skill, map knowledge, and game sense will do this. This will also make it more enjoyable too, for me at least. Because nothing shits me more than being cloud striked or cross map fusion rifled or catching someone out of position looking the wrong way, doing 95% damage with an SMG or a sidearm, and only to be removed from the lobby by a high handling shotgun. It sucks. And uh, I know you've had this happen before. And knowing you outplayed some gamers to win the round is much more fun than just getting lucky with your shotgun. Now, there are two main arguments that I've seen this that I don't think very good and one argument that I've thought of that I think is the most valid because well I'm really smart and only I can come up with good ideas the first one is that we've already had double primary and it didn't work well for starters it did work you fuckers just complain too much this was also the time of 4v4 and trials and quick play it's the time of fixed roles and not enough weapons or perk diversity it's also at the time of a single perk, no second column perk. If you had to choose between a weapon with Outlaw or a weapon with Kill Clip, you couldn't have both. I think with all of these, I think with pretty much everything here changed, we could go back to double primary. Secondly, there's just a lot of people in this game with a massive skill issue. Oh, I just can't get a kill without my special shotgun. How else am I supposed to get kills with my no skill instant kill button? What else can't you do, huh? Need me to hold your hand crossing the street? Need me to brush your teeth for you? Cook you dinner? Have a nice meal together? Watch a movie maybe? Yeah, that's what I thought. Just get good. On a more serious note though, being forced to land your shots and make better plays because you can't just instantly delete people will make you better. It will suck at the start because you won't have your crutch and your stats will definitely dip. 
but they'll come back and probably improve with a bit of time and practice. Now finally, for my own counter. Without special, there's going to be nothing to counter Wells and Bubbles. More specifically, without conditional finality, there is basically nothing that can be done. So at the moment, I think uh, double primary is uh, best left out of the game. But if uh, Bubble and Well get their well-deserved nerf, I think the game would be better off with double primary. Now for the question of how should it be implemented, I don't think it should come back full time. Mostly just because people will complain too much, and that'll be very annoying. So as much as I would like to revert back to vanilla D2 double primary, I don't think it's going to happen. I think there are two options available. One is to make special ammo and weapons worse or weaker to make double primary a more effective choice than running a special. Like, uh, he further reduced ammo, or just like, uh, just like a blanket nerf to all specials. What I would really like to see, and what I think would be much more popular, is for double primary to come back in Crucible Labs, and then hopefully into a, uh, like a checkmate style of game mode, where certain weeks, control, or even trials will be double primary only. I think that having it as a every now and again shake up would be the best middle ground. And anything to shake things up for a week is nice to have anyway, even if it's not double primary and something completely different. But uh, I am happy with the current state that the Crucible is in right now. Double primary is actually one of the, it's probably the most effective it's been, and I'm happy with that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Goodbye.